Well, everybody, I'm back and I'm really excited about my show. I have my very dear friend, Mr. Pete Adams, and Pete is the last guest on my show for 2021, as I'm going to be teaching the last two weeks. And boy, are you going to be in for a ride today, as all of you know. Pete is a serial entrepreneur, law of attraction expert. Um, he uh, loves helping people. All of my listeners all over the world are saying, when is Pete going to come back? When is Pete going to come back? Um, and, and so he is really a man full of wisdom. He and his wife, Robin, I always tell Pete, Pete, you wouldn't be the man that you are without your beautiful wife, Robin. So we got to give a shout out to her. And he's going to talk to us today about uh, 11 daily commandments of truth. And I can't wait to hear what he has to say all the way down there from sunny Florida. So Pete Adams, welcome back to your home, the Law of Attraction Radio Network. Well, hey, it's great to be home to us. It's uh glad to be on your show as always it's um i always have a lot of fun and i always look forward to it and um it's it just gives me an opportunity to you know share my knowledge with you know everyone in the world and uh i really get a charge out of it so i'm very grateful to be back and uh and being on the uh the last show of the year that's kind of special so yeah you're uh, my you're my last guest of the year but i'm going to be teaching the last two weeks and happy holidays to you and robin Thank you so much, and uh, you know, bless you to you, Constance. Um, let's uh, let's just just dive right into it because uh, you know I think you know we're probably going to be uh, you know probably running the the, uh, the time clock out, out with the show, but yeah, the um, yeah the eleven uh, daily commandments of truth I came up with uh, it really came in as like I told you the other day as like a download from Spirit. It was uh-huh. just like, all of a sudden I just had this, and within like three minutes I had all these things written down. And I'm like where did that come from? I mean, that stuff's good, you know? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, and when I told you, you're like, you come on the show, and I'm like, heck yeah, let's do it, you know? So uh, the first um, daily community- Okay, then what's the first one? The first one is, um, I am grateful no matter what. And uh, it's, you know, that's the thing. It's like, you know, you know, a lot of people kind of cycle in and out of gratitude. You know, when things are good, they're happy, they're grateful. When things are challenging, uh, what happens typically is people just kind of drop the ball in the gratitude. They'd be like, you know, well, why, why would I be grateful for anything? But, you know, my life's not so hot right now. And, um, and that's just when you really need to have the gratitude even more, you know, because it's like, if you start your day off with, every day with gratitude, your life is going to get better every single day. That's just how it works. And it, it, the more you say thank you, thankful, excuse me, the more you say thank you to spirit, the more spirit sends you to be thankful for so it's kind of like, it's almost like you're generating your, uh, you know, it's like a money machine for you in your bank in heaven. It's just like, you know, good things come to you. And uh, if you don't uh, get into practicing gratitude, uh, you know, things will be taken away from you. Um, a good example, I, I came up with this this morning was, okay. you ever give a, you ever seen like when you give a, a child a gift and mm-hmm. sometimes a child is just like, not great, they're not saying thank you for it. They're kind of like, expect it right and what's the first thing you do you want when i run into that which is not often because i don't have children but the first thing i want to do is take the gift back and teach them a lesson well you know what that's just what spirit will do when you start having gratitude it's just like oh you know i'm giving you all these wonderful things that you're not happy about it well, apparently you must want something different so i'll give you just something that's not so hot and uh you know and that's how i you know in that Simple analogy. I think that's how the universe works. Yeah, you know? that's so good. And you know, Pete, you know, you mentioned being grateful no matter what. So you haven't had a perfect year in business, right? Because there have been times that you could have been complaining and grumbling and all of that. And oh, you probably yeah. had to make a decision to be grateful. Like every every day, it's like, you know, I, you know, I, I know I've said this about a, a gazillion times, but yeah, every every single day of my life, I start off doing my hour of power. Gratitude is a big part of that. And uh, yeah, even, you know, even when things are crazy, like they've been for like the last two years, um, it's, uh, you know, it, more than ever, you need to be grateful, you know, have faith and stay in it because, you know, that's when you need it most. And, um, you know, we always get through everything, you know, so it's like, you know, 
and having gratitude, you know, is, is the way to go about it because, if you, you know, think about gratitude as being like a, basically a giant magnet for good things, you know? So if you have gratitude, it's just like, you, you be grateful for your health. I mean, be grateful you can hear the show. You know, be grateful that, you, you know, you, have, you can see, you have vision. Because I used to volunteer at the um, Breckenridge Outdoor Education Center, which is, I used to be a, an adaptive uh, ski instructor. And we had people that would come into the program, they were blind, you know, they had, you know, they, they you know, were missing limbs, they were in wheelchairs, and we took them out skiing. And I'll tell you one thing, Clauses, including blind people, it's like, if you think, it's like, my life is so darn easy, it's ridiculous. And it's just like, it, it's like, and you see people like that, and it's just like, you realize like real clear, it's like, wow, thank goodness I don't have those challenges. You know, so it's yeah. just like, I don't, you know, no matter where any, any of the listeners are in their, in their life experience right now, just not having gratitude in your life will get better. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a law, you know, and it is a law and Pete, you know, gratitude is a vibration and the Bible says that rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice and rejoice is just another word for, you know, being grateful. So Pete is preaching, even oh, though yeah. he don't he, he don't even know he is sharing a universal truth. When you complain, you remain. So vi- a, a, a gratitude is one of the highest vibrations, and uh, live and stay in that no matter what. That's power for Pete. Oh yeah, it just you know, every day is Thanksgiving. It should be Thanksgiving because mm-hmm. every day is a gift. You know. Oh, I it's, love it. I love it. We're not gonna be here forever. We'll, we'll be in different experiences, but, you know, for every day you're alive here, um, you know, be grateful for it because it gives you an opportunity to, to uh, you know, have an amazing life. You know, that's, there's always an opportunity every, every sunrise. Yeah. So I love that first commandment, you know, the powerful vibration of being grateful. What's the second one, Pete? Okay. Very important one, as they all are conscious. Mm-hmm. And that is, I have perfect health. Ooh. Yeah. It, it's, Constantly, like I said, when the hour of power, right? I have, I've been affirming I have perfect health for over 21 years. I mean, last time I even had a cold, uh, and, uh, you know, honest truth, I know, I know it's because it was in October of 1999. And it was after I did my first Ironman. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that was the last time I um, had any kind of, you know, it, you know, appearance of illness or anything like that. And I, and then by affirming that I have perfect health, one of the things is, it's you know, you, you get to watch is there's, there's so much stuff in the media was it's just like, I mean, every commercial that seems like it's on TV is just like, well, you need to take this because if you had X, you're going to get Y. And it's just like, no. And all they're doing is just like, it just trying to plant seeds of, uh, of fear in you because that's how they make money is like selling that stuff. And so just, you know, I call it hitting the mute button. Anytime the, uh, those commercials come on, I'm like running to the clicker trying to turn it off. <clears throat> Shoot. And um, you know, and one of the things too is the uh, you know, I hear I heard the other day somebody say, Well, uh, you know, it's only a matter of time before I get shingles. And I'm like, this is like a friend of mine. I'm like, what is that? You know, that's like you know, trying to create your own self-fulfilling prophecy when you say say, say things like that, because you, you your words matter, you know, and uh in, in, in real world, you know. We're all spiritual beings having a human experience. Now, I mean, so it's like, you know, I wrote a whole book of this, you know, Shattering the Illusion of Disease. It's like, you know, disease, it does not have to be a component of your life. You know, it's something that we, um, we attach to our experience. And pretty much, if you, if you aren't feeling good now for the listeners, you know, anything that was created through mind can be reversed through mind. So um, no matter how bad things might seem, you know, you can, the, the miracles happen. Just, I, you know, I love right. that, you know, and then the Bible says, I told y'all Pete, uh, uh, Pete was a preacher, uh, you know, he got these downloads, he didn't, the Bible says, let the weak say I am strong. And so like Pete said, every day he affirms that he has perfect health. And so Pete, you know, just, um, I guess about seven weeks ago, I dropped a weight on my right knee and I, 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 it, you know, and you know, that's not an easy feeling, but I made a decision. I focus on my left knee 
And I'm like, wow, that knee is so strong and so healed and healing is on its way. So sound like you're saying that listeners can affirm and declare that I'm healed, I'm whole, I'm healthy, I'm vibrant. Exactly. You know, the, um, I, by having that affirmation, um, it, it, it basically puts the command out to the universe. And it's like, I have perfect health and it's on its way, you know, because you, it's like we we can heal ourselves from anything, you know. You know, working with the spirit, and um, you know, and another thing that just came to my mind is so many people I've heard of this in the past, right? Is they have like like blank ones in the family. Well, it's like they, you're creating a self fulfilling prophecy. If you don't want blank showing up in your experience, don't say things like that. Don't think things like that because all you're doing is just working against yourself. You know, and you, you know, you, you, we're all creators. So it's, if you want to create that experience, well, you know, go for it. But I wouldn't recommend it. And um, another thing too is just like, you know, having that affirmation of I have perfect health. It's like, you know, it's like having a, a force field where you know, nothing. You know, if you if, if you only believe in perfect health, you cannot get imperfect health. So just stay with that. And um, yeah, it's very important. It's like if we don't have our health, you know, um, you know money challenges don't seem to really be too important you know so uh stay with i have perfect health and you know and it'll be you know and every day i i i speak mantras and scriptures over my body and so like pete is saying declare and decree what you want that's really powerful wow okay number three pete what's the third okay, number three is i always get what i believe Oh, Lord. Okay. You preaching again. Go ahead, please. That's the second part of it. I always get what I believe, period. So, um, you know, it, what, you know what are your, whether your beliefs are empowering or disempowering, um, you're going to get what you believe, you know, period. You don't get, you know, you, you cannot receive what you don't believe. So if you don't believe you can do something, well, you, you won't be able to do it. You just, you know, you just shut it down. You won't even try. And, uh, and, and sometimes, you know, people, you know, get caught up, you know, their circumstances aren't looking so hot right now. Well, it's, it's like you created it. So it's just like you, you didn't believe in success. So when you got what you, you, know, you got what you believe in, it's not success, you know? So then, you know, a lot of times people just like, you know, they don't see that the, you can create, if you create new belief systems about yourself, you will create a new reality for yourself. That's so it's good. just like, you know, it, it, don't get caught up in the way things look. It's just like, you know, have the belief that, you know, I am successful, you know, and, and, and it's like, basically when you put out, you, you get back. So just, you know, I like to use the analogy of the, uh, the, uh, the universe's um, you know, distribution center. So it's like, you put out what you believe and think, and um, it just goes out to the universe and the universe doesn't say, you know, I don't know that Pete doesn't really want that because it's not good, but it doesn't make any judgment. He says, well, you know, Pete says he wants, you know, size 11 shoes. Well, I'm sending size 11 shoes, whether they fit or not. And, uh, you know, there's no, it's just, you know, we get, we get to make the decision to, you know, we get to, we have total control over the thoughts we think and the beliefs we have. So it's just like, take responsibility for your beliefs and take responsibility of your life. And you're going to get, you know, and have great beliefs and you're going to have an amazing life process. You know, that is so powerful. And once again, in the Bible, it said, be it unto you according to how you believe. Be it unto you according to your faith. And so, Pete, it sounds like you're saying in this commandment that we can intentionally begin to think and believe something and create our own reality yeah absolutely you because we we create our realities and it's just like you know in it's like if you we you know, reality is not fixed so it's just like you know you start you start acting in a certain way and it's it's actually funny because I, I used to call it acting as if in my in my visual manifestation system and i was reading the uh, power of awareness this morning and mm -hmm. uh, and uh neville Goddard calls it the uh the law, the law of assumption. Oh, I love which is that. Beautiful, you know, and it's just like you, you, you assume things, you know, are the way you desire them to be, and they will be. If you stay with it. You know, I love that, Pete, because 
you talk a lot about you don't have to know how. So when you say you get what you believe, period. And so if people would intentionally, because, you know, subconsciously, if you're thinking and saying, I can't do that, that won't ever happen to me. I can't ever buy a house. Those are your belief, but you can, like Pete said, intentionally change those and create a new reality. That's a powerful one. Absolutely, Constance. And, and like, like, just like you just said about people saying, you know, I can't, I can't buy a house. Uh, I mean, it's like that is such a limiting belief that too many people have. And, you know, it's like if you can afford rent, you can afford a house. I mean, you, know, just, you just have to get creative but I don't get into the real estate stuff. <laughs> okay. And y'all, Pete is a real estate mogul. So he know what he's talking about. This is so good. You know, if people would just begin to implement these truths in their lives, Pete, where would their lives be? Okay. What's our next commandment? Okay. I am the delivery creator of my experience. Whoa. And- Oh yeah, that's like that. And I, you know, my second book, the uh, the Seven Masterpieces for Deliberate cre- Successful Deliberate Creation, you know, there's a whole book, uh, and, and I'll talk about that at the end of the show. But uh, we are the co-creators of our experience, and we are the deliver- we we can create our experience deliberately. It, here's the thing, listeners, life is not happening to you. Like the, all this stuff is not just showing up on its own, and you have no control over it. That is a complete false belief. You have the ability to shape your future the way you desire it. And you, know, and you follow these, these principles and you, know, you can create the life of your dreams. You know, it's up to you to create because it it's like, nobody can do this stuff for you. You, know, it's like, you, know, you can't just you know, read a book and you know, think everything's gonna change on its own. You know, you've got to show up and do the work. You know? And um, the... Um, you know, I just like to say, you know, reality is not what you think it is. You know, it's like you you have the ability to create your future. And um, if you want a great future, start, you know, start working on it now because, you know, you do create with God, like through your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, you know. And, um, you know, if you you need to get into that space where there's a, you create the higher version of yourself in your mind. And you put it out to the universe, and the universe will come back with what you put out there. You put out negative things, not like I'm a failure or, you know, things are worse, bad, and they're only going to get worse. Well, you're going to get that, you know, because and that's what you're co-creating. You know, you, you create you just as easy as you create the good, you create the bad if you put the wrong set of you know beliefs and thoughts. And so. Pete, it sounds like you're saying that no matter where anybody is right now, they can deliberately begin to think, believe, imagine, what else did you say, and assume yeah. that what, what I'm thinking and believing is okay. happening and coming into me. All right, come on. So I, 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 it just came in to me share this experience. The, um, uh, back in 2005, because people, you know, people, if, you, if you read my book, you heard the story before, but listen to it because I'm going to tell you something I didn't tell you in the first book. Okay. Um, I got into the lottery, the Ironman Hawaii race through a lottery. And uh, what I did was I, I bought a DVD from 2004, which is the prior year's race. And it was amazing. They got, I think they got like some kind of Emmy for it or something like that. But anyways, I, for about three and a half months, I, um, I watched that video a couple times a week. But every single day, I visualize racing that race in my mind. Like okay? it was you. This is oh, me. yeah. Like it was me. It's just like the, it, the, the race starts off with like, you know, you see the scene with the, you know, people's feet splashing ahead of you, right? And then, and then you're in, the announcer says, you are in Hawaii and you are in the Ironman. So I went, I went in the uh, slot in the lottery, the first name there. You know, Pete Adams, Florida. And I'm like, I'm like, holy cow, I got in, right? And so the phone started ringing. But um, to cut to the chase, when it, I had the experience of racing that race, it was a carbon copy of everything I had visualized to the point where it was scary. I, I thought that I must have died and gone to heaven. I was in a car wreck. I was in a coma because crazy things were showing up just like the race 
And the one that really blew me away was in the DVD I visualized, it was, it was a, uh, the film uh, helicopter comes up on the uh, race leader, okay? And the, the shadow was right over top of the bike and, and, the, uh, and the cyclist, okay? The, the shadow driver. of the helicopter. Right, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Constance. I'm coming back to, uh, on the bike to, on the, because it's an outback, out and back bike ride. You go to Javi and come back to Kalua Kona. All right, I can, I stop hearing a helicopter, right? I know what a helicopter sounds like because I was in the military. So I'm rolling along. Constance, the shadow goes right over my bike right over me and I'm by myself out there. And I am like, I am, there's no way this is real, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, here's the most powerful part of it all. About mile 24 in the marathon, I'm running in the dark, no one's around me. And this voice comes in and says, you created this, you created all of this. And I'm like, whoa, because it was, it was like, no one's around me. Mm -hmm. This comes through. And it was spirits tell, basically telling me that I created this entire experience. So it's like, you know, trust me, you are a deliberate creator of your experience. Because I created that experience uh -huh. in Hawaii. The helicopter coming over the bike. It's all stuff I created. So it's just like, you know, we are all so much more powerful than we could ever even imagine. So it's just, it, it was funny. I put, I put that in the first book, Visual Festation. And then I, um, I meditated up in North Carolina. The, uh, you know, it's it, the, based on my spirits guide said, hey, you know, we told you this before when you were in Hawaii. And I, I kind of forgot all about that after I finished the race. It was just like, I was just like, so happy to be, uh, you know, done with that race and, uh, you know, basking in the glory. But, uh, you know, that's the, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I'm not making this stuff up, guys. You yeah. Know, this is the truth. So. And um, so, you know, in the Bible, it says you are gods. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm just telling y'all. And so wherever you are, whatever you want in your life, and I could tell you some stuff, but we're going to go to the next commandment. If you continually, constantly think, believe, imagine, and assume that what you're believing, like Pete said, you are deliberately creating with your thoughts, with your, your belief, with your imagination. What are the chances of that helicopter shadow flying over Pete? He had created that in his mind. That's how powerful you are. You're not a victim. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, Pete, that was so good. What's number five? Number five is great, and that is everything is happening for me. Ooh. That, and that's, that, that's something that I've been using quite a bit over the past uh, you know, two years with the, uh, some of the, the challenges we had with the, uh, the illusion of the pandemic thing. I'm not even going to talk about it. But the biggest thing is that most people think, like, you know, things happen to me. Well, th then th when, you, when you say, you think that, it's like you become a victim, you know. And if you say everything is happening for me, you go, you turn into the victor. So it's just like, you know, you're gonna get what do you want? You want more of what's not good, or do you want, you know, more of what is good, you know? So it's just like everything is happening for me. And, and one of the things that's amazing um, is um, when things are happening, you, it's like you don't you don't get caught up in 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 the froth or the waves because you know stuff is happening, but you know it could be happening for you, whether you believe it or not. And um, I got a great story about that. It was back when I uh, in I think the year two thousand, uh, I uh, I got downsized, and I and I told Constance about this before, but we um you know I got downsized from a corporate job. And I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that paid anything near what I was making. So before I knew it, I was like up to my neck in bills and I had more bills than money. I was freaking out, you know, and, um, and I wasn't happy. It's like, you go to the, I go to the mailbox and it'd be full of bills. And I just, you know, I feel sick in my stomach. I just closed the, the mailbox and said, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow kind of thing. And, um, and what happened from, you know, the, the getting downsized thing was 
I was got so low that I ended up, you know, you know, asking spirit, like, you know, you know, help me here, right? So um, if you know, I did that's what, from there, that's where I created the visual testation system. I started doing stuff on the beach every morning, my hour of power. And before, you know, before a while, it was like 12 crazy girls came off. And it was just like it took, it wasn't like overnight, but a period of two to three years. I nailed all these goals that were crazy good. And uh, my life became amazing. And that's how I, you know, I took that system, started sharing with other people, they got results. Then I wrote the book, Visual Festation. You know, and now three books later, two books later, whatever. It's like, my life is fantastic. And, but it's like, if I had stayed in that corporate job, I never would have done any of these cool things. You know, I'm on a constant I was show. It's like being a rock star, you know? And uh, my life's amazing. And by teaching you guys this stuff, it's like, you know, it just, it makes me feel wonderful because I get emails out of the blue. It, it basically, you know, your book changed my life. And I'm like, whoa, you know, I'm like, cool. You know, so uh, you know, it's, it's the, the whole thing is everything is happening for you. And I get a great thing. Oh, God, I got a great thing. I want to read to you from, okay. from, from the uh, I Ching Wisdom. Okay. By Wu Wei. And it's a parable that says, a situation only becomes favorable when one adapts to it. As long as you are, are angry or upset over an event, you will be unable to perceive its beneficial aspects. And you may wear yourself out with unnecessary resistance. The event may have been to your complete advantage from the first moment. Even happy turns of fortune sometimes come to us in a form that seems strange or unlucky. The event itself is simply an event. The way you respond to the event determines its final outcome in your life. Once an event has taken place, since you cannot alter the past, all that is left to you is your response. Why not respond as though the event occurred for your benefit? You will then immediately experience good feelings about the event and bring up, and, and by acting in accord with your feelings, you will help bring in about that end. Anyone who understands this concept and acts accordingly, will mount through the skies of success as though on the wings of six dragons. Oh, that is that so powerful? good. What? And that's the thing. It, it, what Wu Wei is saying is in the, in the I Ching. It's just like, you know, it's happening for you. He just said it in a different way. You know, it, that, that's, that's a masterpiece. You know, and that's the truth. It's just like, you know, um, tr you know whatever shows up in your experience, whether it's, it seems like it, if it seems bad, well, you don't know if it's could be the greatest blessing you ever you ever received, but you won't know yeah. until you go to the other side. You know, I was looking on my phone too. Once again, Pete the preacher, in <clears throat> Romans it says, and we know that all things are working together for good to those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. We all love God. We know God has a purpose for us. And so I'm not saying that it's easy, but like Pete said, it's a choice. You can choose. Don't be a victim. You can choose how you're going to respond. That is so good. Okay, Pete, what's the next commandment? Okay, the next one is, the more that I give, Ooh. the more that is given to me. Okay? Mm -mm. And, uh, I'll tell you, you know, you it's like you want to, you know, one of the cool things is, and you know, people don't get this, but it's like the more you give, the more you have to give. It's not like you, that you, you're not. It's like the more that you give, the more there there actually is to give. And it's like you know, you start you know donating money before you know it, money's gonna start coming back in from like, uh, you know, unusual sources or you know, places you never saw happening. And, uh, and, you know, and the other thing too is like, every time I give, you know, personally, it's like, I feel better. I feel yeah. good, you know? Because I remember, uh, we, I, think, I think I did a, we had the, uh, a charity challenge thing, a food bank challenge. Mm -hmm. And what happened with that? Uh, yeah, and what happened with us was the, um, it's like, we were, you know, feel, we were feeling horrible because like all the businesses were closing, you know, like it was back in like, I believe April, when, uh, you know, it, you know, it got real scary for everybody, and uh, and I was in line at, at the, uh, the grocery store, Publix, and this guy had a bunch of food in his cart, and I thought he was just panic shopping kind of thing, like trying to hoard up, and the guy's just like, he's like, 
hey, I'm going down to the uh, the food, local food bank. This is what I'm bringing. And I said, where is it? And he told me. I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's cool. And I'm like, I mean, I'm like, what the hell an idea? I went, I went, <laughs> I bought the groceries that we, we were shopping for at, at home, but I want the cop, ran back in and um, loaded up like a complete shopping cart full of food. And I'm telling you, every time I picked a, a can of like beans off the shelf or whatever, I had this feeling of like love hit me. It was just like, <sighs> it was just like, it felt unbelievable. Right, so we we're driving over to um, the local food bank because a lot of people that um, in the area, it's like you know, they they were considered quote unquote non essential, so they, they couldn't go to work, so they weren't getting a paycheck. So the, the demands on the, these food banks was huge, and um, we brought the food over, and it felt absolutely amazing. It felt so good that we're like we're doing this every single week. So we you know, and it changed. It, we were like we were uh, you know. We, we were really in a dark place. We really didn't feel this. We were so much fear going on. And this, doing this, you know, charity thing, just totally was a game changer constant. It's like, I, I felt like, you know, you know, like, you know, like I, before I thought it was like a punch in the stomach. And then I was like elated to the point where I was like, I'm driving down the food bank with all this food, right? And I'm like, I got tears of joy in my eye. I'm just feeling so much love. It was just amazing. And I just so that's when we created the challenge where um, if you know people did the challenge, show us the uh, the grocery carts, etc. And we give them our um, home study course for free. And it was just like you know, some of the people did it, and uh, it was it was awesome, you know. So you know, and you know when you know since then, well, the whole time we run that pretty. We're, we like to give, um, and it's just like you know it's. We have happiness and joy in our lives. And I think a huge part of that is from helping other people because we help other people, you're helping them financially or helping them, you know, you know, help them, you know, with their growth, pushing their golf their cart to the um, their shop cart to the golf cart to live in a retirement place. It's just like, you know, just helping people. Basically, you tap into love and you're tapping into God. And it's just like, you know, trust me, the more you give, the more you, you're gonna you're gonna get in your life and it's gonna be good. Yeah. You know, once again, the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shall people give unto you. So I tell everybody, Pete, that when you give, you get into that universal law of circulation. Oh, Einstein yeah. called it the boomerang effect. You're not giving to get, but when you give, well, it, it comes back to you. Oh, yeah, exactly. And it's... uh. Yeah, you know, it's it, everything needs to stay in flow, you know. And that's yeah. what you said. It's like you know, it's circulation. It's like you know, it's like you know, run you know, run the filter on your pool. You know, the, you know, you need to do that to get the water clean. You know, so it, you know, it's I can't say enough about it because it's like you know, I it, it makes me feel so good that it's like I want everyone to feel good. How that feels. Yeah. Well, this is so good. Well, let's move along, Pete. Uh, the next commandment is what. It is, I am loved beyond measure always. Okay? Oh, you know, and here's the thing you know, you know, everyone, it's like God loves you unconditionally, period. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you have, you know, it's like, you have, we have no idea how much we're loved by spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the ones who, you know, don't love, you know, don't love ourselves. And, you know, and it's just like, it's, you know, like, like I said, it's unconditional. It's not, it's not like, God's going to stop loving you if you, you know, screw something up. And it's like, you know, that's, 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 that's this world. You know, that's, you know, that's some other belief system that says that, you know, if I do this, I'm going to be punished. You know, you should always do good things. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, you know, you know, God's not like a person is like, you know, you do something, you know, you know God doesn't even recognize it. Yeah. You know I mean, you know, it, it's like, he's God is love. And it's just like, you know, love it. The love is not like, you know, I, gonna treat you with judgment it's just like it's just gonna love you so it's just know that you're no matter how it might be bad or lonely you might feel sometimes it's like god's always there to tap into you know so it's just like yeah. you, you feel that way you know reach out because you know if you ask you you know you shall receive and it's just like you know you know just say you know to spirit it's like you know you know please you know sh um, shine your love down upon me Thank you. That's you know. a great way to do it. And love is the highest vibration. 
And so if you're walking in love and you're feeling love, you're loving yourself, you're loving God, you're loving others, you're in that highest vibration. I mean, that's just, you, you, you're just open for miracles, Pete. Okay. You know, when, when you're in that one. Oh, this yeah. is so good. Okay, what's the next commandment, Pete? They wear me out, classes. <laughs> uh, it is, I put my faith and trust in God. Oh. Okay. And, and, and I know it's almost like you know, another one we just talked about, but it's just like, don't get caught up in appearances, you know? And I need to remind myself of this stuff too. It's, you know, I'm, you know, I, trust me, guys, I, I read this. This is what I do every morning. It's like, I reinforce this stuff. So it's not like I'm on, you know, I'm on the next plane and I don't need to do this stuff myself. I do, I practice it every single day. But it's just like, when you put your, when you put your, um, your faith and trust in appearances, that's fear. And when you're putting out the energy, you're putting out this energy of fear and it, it you know, it's, it's gonna make things worse. You put the energy out that is not positive. Because uh, what you're also saying is like, you don't, you don't, you don't trust the things that are gonna make, get better. You don't have faith in God. You know, you have faith in, you know, it's bad and it's only gonna get worse. Well, guess what? You're gonna get worse. That's just how the whole system works. So it's very important to remember that just like, you know, everything's happening for me. It's just like, you know, just, you know, things might look crazy on the surface, right? But just, just you know, you know, hold hold on tight. You're gonna get through it. And uh, and the sooner, the more faith and trust you have, it's like, it's almost like, let's say something, let's say something, like something that appears bad and shows up in your experience. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, if you if you just go, it's like you know, I'm putting my faith in God. That's it. I don't I don't I'm not even paying attention to this stuff. It's like it's like you deflect it. You know, it's not, so it's just like, you know, it's almost like, you know, somebody throws a snowball at you, you just turn it and it misses you, you know, rather than like watching it and they get hit in the face with a snowball, you know, it's, well, it's a pretty good analogy, Constance. Yeah, <laughs> it, I, I love that. Yeah, it's, so, so that's the thing, it's just like, you know, have faith in God and, you know, trust the things that are going to get better. And the sooner you do that, the sooner they will. And you, they, so literally people are turning away from their problem and toward the solution so yes. you're, you're 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 ignoring the, the appearance and man it looks bad i don't know how and you're turning to a loving like pete said a loving giving caring spirit and the more you turn your back on your problem and what's showing up and you begin to look towards the answer and god that's when stuff come on in exactly yeah. wow this is yeah. and, and so you know pete i know we gotta hurry along but see yeah. I, I just want to say to listen this is what pete got in his hour of power i mean and so i'm saying to everybody maybe you don't do an hour i gotta download just about a new way for me to do TikTok. Maybe you need a download about how to discipline or, or be more connected to your children or how to be more effective at work. But everything comes, wisdom comes from the silence and your, and, and your meditation. I mean, Pete wouldn't have gotten this if he had not been meditating over these years. It just downloaded to them. I wanted to share that with them too, Pete. Oh, absolutely, Clancy. You're so right. When you know, when you're caught up in the noise, you you never you never hear the message. You know. Yeah. What's our next commandment? Okay, I'll pick up the pace. It's um, I see the opportunity in every challenge. Ooh. And that's that. I causes hey, this stuff came from spirit, so it's like. I, I cannot take credit for this, but you know, I see opportunity in every challenge because when you get caught in a challenge and all you see is a challenge, you know, it's just like you, you, you're blocking this, the, whatever the solution could be from coming in because you know, just like you, you go, people instantly go into like, it's happening to me, woe is me, I'm a victim. And it's just like, well, again, you're not going to get, you're not going to solve that challenge with that, you know, having that mindset. Um, or operating in that space because it's like you know, you know you're blocking the information from coming in when you have fear because just 
basically, you know, uh, saturate your, your mind with all these negative thoughts. And, you know, when you think of negative thoughts, positive ones, I, you know, are getting blocked from coming in. So, you know, anytime you see a challenge, you know, for me to say, you know, where's the opportunity? You know, this is an opportunity for me to grow. You know, because not all challenges are, you know, are, you know, forced upon you. Know, a lot of times, there's, you know, a challenge is there to help you grow, become stronger, and, um, and, and have your, you know, be, become stronger in your faith. And that's what's, you know, really, um, that's what's really happened for, for me, Constance, is, um, you know, this challenge we see, you know, I'm going to get, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, it gave me the opportunity to uh, really uh, crank up my faith. And, um, you know, and it's like, you know, maybe that's why I had this experience, you know, but uh, anyways, I'm, I'm on the other side and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm dialed in like I've never been dialed in before to spirit and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. Well, you know, I just want to say personally, I hope people don't mind me sharing this, that when everything went down and everything was locked down, he called me, I said, uh, what's going on? And I heard it in his voice you know, because he has employees and all of that. And that was a challenge for him and Robin. But so he's not just talking to you about I'm this guru and I don't ever have any challenges. He had employees. He had a business, you know, that was shut down. And so he had to make a decision like you are. Am I going to see this as an opportunity or am I going to go into victim mode? And he made a choice. Oh yeah, and you know, and, and you know, just you know, you know, be brutally honest with everyone. It's just like you know, sometimes challenges are going to show up that are gonna, they're going to be you know, one if you can get through them. Uh, and the thing, the way you get through them is you get through them with God. You get through them with your faith. You know, because you're not here alone. You know, you might feel like that sometimes, but you're not. So there's always help available from spirit. So you know, you don't need to go it alone. You know, you got a team. Yeah. This is so good. I'm going to have to, hey, hey, everybody, I'm going to get uh, 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 Pete his preaching license because he ain't teaching nothing. <laughs> Everything he's teaching is spirit. I'm yeah. just saying, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Okay, and what's the next one, Pete? Okay, the, the next one is, I am one with all that is, and I love all. Here, you know, here's the thing, everyone. We are all part of God, and it's like every we're all one. So it's just like when you do something like you know you think you're doing something to hurt another person or whatever, all you're doing is hurting yourself in the end because mm -hmm. we're all one. So why do I put out that I love everyone? And it's just like you know whether they're different from you or whatever. Hey, everyone's here in a life experience, you know, and some people aren't at levels that other people are yet you know so just accept that and you know and you, you know you know you're your person you know you may think you're the you know the greatest thing since you know sliced bread but you know it's like you, you're no more important to god than anyone else is you know he loves everyone the same and it's huge you know so it's just like you know have kindness you know for the people around you you know your community mm -hmm. you know got to turn my phone off yeah. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, the, you know, and here's a perfect example, right? About, you know, loving everyone, right? Okay. Constance has been doing this show for like 11 years, I believe. 12. 12 years. I'm sorry. I shaved off a year. <laughs> right. She's been doing this show for 12 years. And she does this show because she loves humanity. Mm. She does this show because she knows that somebody listening on the other end, it's going to help them. And she's been working. You, have, you guys have no idea how much goes into this, putting the show on. It, you know, it may seem like it's just, you know, we just get her on, go on together and we just talk. It's she's, she works on this thing like you can't even imagine. And it's just like she does it because she loves all of you. So it's just like, remember to hit that, you know, go back to her and, you know, donate on her, you know, donate now button on her website because she's giving you her life and it's just like you guys need to reciprocate like you know the more that is you know i give the more that is given well it's time for everyone who's listening you know give what you can and watch your life get better because you're watching this show or listening to this show and your life if you do what we're teaching you 
Well, she said about preaching, but anyways, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a better life experience, you know. And uh, you know, and I've been, I'm not sure how many times I've been on the show, but every time we've been on the show, it's it's uh, it's been it's been awesome. And it's like, you know, she's blessing you. Um, you should bless her. And I'll get off my soapbox. So <laughs> that's nothing but the truth. And lastly, Pete, what's our last one? Okay, last one, number eleven. Drum roll, please. Um, there's nothing I cannot do with God. And that Whoa. is, oh yeah. Yeah, it could, it's, you know, there's nothing God cannot do. So it's like, no matter what kind of, I don't care what challenge you, you think you have in your experience, right? It can be over like that if you believe, you know? Mm. Because you know, I've, I've written about this before. It's like, you know, I, I heard a story from a lady who, um, she was in a hospice and they're like, you know, you're gonna, you know, basically that, you know, you're gonna die. And she had a spontaneous uh, healing. So she went from like being be, be about a day from death to a, like all of a sudden, boom, it changed. She was healed. And then, then, then they didn't want to leave, let her out of the, the uh, hospice center because they thought she was nuts. But she, you know, it was a miracle. And it was, and I, you know, I heard this firsthand from the per this person. And I was just like, wow, that is, it was the most amazing story. And to not hear it secondhand was so cool. But, uh, you know, that's the, you know, that's the, there's no limitations, you know. And you're, you know, you're, the only limitations you have are the ones you, you, you tell yourself you have. Because you, if you tap into that God energy that you're, you're always tapped into, whether you're using it or not, uh, you, you know, there's nothing you cannot be, do, or have. You, know? you can have an amazing life. You, you know, it's like where you are right now is not where you're going, you know. So, this you know, is so big and go home. You're working with spirit, you know? Well, you know, and even Pete, in the Bible, it says, with God, all things are possible. And you're one with God and one with all there is. And then another verse said, I can do all things through yeah. God. I can start a business. I can get married. I can lose weight. And so Pete is so right on. I mean, I got to mail you your preaching license, Pete, because every one of these commandments or truths are nothing but God. Thank you, Constance. It, it's, you know, it, you know, it came in from spirit and it was just like, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, I, I hope the listeners will uh, take these, um, you know, take these commandments and um, affirm them daily, you know, like every single day you should, you, you know, Start your you know morning off like you know with gratitude, just go on the list, you know, and um, you know just you know make that like your this is how I'm going to run my life for the better, mm -hmm. you know, and and you know and do you know and honestly, guys, if you want to get results, you know, do it every day, you know, because it's like it's like climbing a hill, you know, it's like if you stop climbing, you're not going to get to the top, but if you keep so climbing, good, yeah. And this is what Pete and Robin live. I know them. I talk to them. You know, we talk about our, what we're going through, what we are experiencing, how we are feeling, and all of the above. So he is teaching you something that he's living. And so, Pete, we got three minutes, and Pete has a gift. And this is just exhibit A of how he and Robin live. What is your gift to people today? Okay, it's, it's actually part of my, I call it my pay it forward project. And um, what it is, you know, basically spirit came to me and drew me and said, you know what? It's time for you to just give everything away. Because it's like, you'll make a bigger impact because if money gets in the way <laughs> of somebody, well, that's, you know, that's not good. So anyways, if you go to my website, uh, PeterDAdams.com, and if you sign up on the bottom for our Tools for Your Success newsletter, you will get all of my works for free. It's the audio books you can download because the MP3s, the three books that I've written that are uh, in PDF form, and my self-study workbook. The, the workbook we were selling that for 179 bucks a pop, you know. And on top of that, 
the uh, the 38 free eBooks in that folder. And what happens is when you sign up for the uh, Tools for Your Success newsletter, you're gonna get a link that goes to that Dropbox folder so you can copy those files down. And uh, and I'm telling you, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm giving, I'm, you know, I'm, get, I'm, giving, I'm giving away the, the shop and it's, uh, you know, well, Merry Christmas, everybody, you know, you know so it's like, wow. go, to, go to the spot, download the stuff. And, uh, and, and you know, and if, you do what I, if you do what I teach in that self-study guide, you're not gonna need anything else if you do. I mean, so true. It's, it's there for you. Um, and uh, one other thing I wanted to talk to, because it's like, you know, uh, what I'm gonna do cause is starting on uh, January 8th, I'm gonna do a, a, a four week program on Zoom uh, on Saturdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so it's like, I'm gonna have the link out there to Zoom. My Zoom uh, space only has 99 spots. So um, if you guys would like to, uh, you know, hop online and uh, hang out with me, I'd be more than happy to teach you how to, uh, you know, use goal setting in my system to uh, manifest, you know, whatever you desire. And, and this is exhibit A people of why he and Robin, he gonna get mad at me for saying this, are so successive, successfully rich and wealthy. They're givers. And he's giving away, I'm gonna say a minimum of $300 worth of his products. Absolutely free, no strings attached. So Pete, give them your website again. I love you and Robin for doing that. And I love you, Pete, for listening and doing what the spirit told you to do. Oh yeah, but absolutely. What's gonna happen to him is the more they give, the more is gonna come back to him. It's a law. Give us your website again, Pete. Sure. It's a, it's actually my name contest. Okay. Peter D as in Delta Adams.com. And so my middle name begins with a D. So it's peterdadams.com. Um, you can always just Google uh, the title of my book, Visual Festation, uh, in my name, and you'll find it. You'll, you won't have any trouble finding me. Wow. And, yeah. And um, yeah. You're so you. right. You know, just that study guide that costs $179, guys. Oh, yeah. don't, 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 don't take for granted the, the gift that this man and this woman, Robin, his wife, Robin, are given to you. The you know, honestly, causes, you know, we, Robin made that home study, self study course, home study, whatever you want to call it. She made that thing beautiful. Yeah, it and, is beautiful. Yeah, uh, you know, we we put a lot of work into that, and um, and that's why we were charging so much for it. And now it's just like you know, I, it's it's time to give it away. You know, it's time to uh, like 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 we said, be able to, you know, know which one, which number was it? Uh, oh, it's um, number six. Okay. Commandment six. The more that the more that I give, the more that is given. So it's like you know, I'm not doing this to get to get something, guys. But it's like I'm doing this because I want in constant wants to help you in any way we can. And this is the, the the best way I can think of doing it right. Pete, I love you and Robin. God bless you. This is so powerful. I want all the listeners, I want you to listen and share this. When you watch this or when you hear this, I want you to share this with your friends, your coworkers. I want you to go to Pete's website and sign up for that Zoom um, webinar that he's going to be doing in, in, at the beginning of January. That's Peter. Is it Pete, Peter D. Adams or Pete D. Adams? Peter D. Adams. Peter D. Adams. Pete, I love you and Robin. Okay, everybody, happy holidays. And um, this has been such a great show. Pete, thank you so much for the work that you put into this. And as I say every week, I'm, I'm changing up what I'm going to say, what I normally say. I want you to think, believe, declare and imagine that your best life is ahead of you. Everybody make a decision to have a great week. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Constance. Mm -hmm.